is your Storm Team 29 forecast. There's been hardly any melting the last couple of days over the Blue Ridge Mountains. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. There's a live view right now from the top of Winter Green Resort showing us all that snowfall over the last couple of days, especially on Sunday. And even that ice, that freezing rain and drizzle we had on Sunday night and Monday morning has all the trees still encased with that ice. But the, across the lower elevations, temperatures are inching their way above freezing. Right now it's 38 degrees in Earlysville at the Charlottesville Albemarle Airport. 32 freezing degrees in orange and uh, below freezing at Stanton. So temperatures are marginal to see some refreezing first thing this morning. And hey, the kids can get out there and play in the snow again today. Thanks to Kristen Cass showing her daughter Vivian enjoying her snow day and her snow person there. Now enjoy the snow kids while it lasts because over the next couple of days, especially on say tomorrow and also Thursday, some more sunshine will begin to melt that snow away. All right, NBC 29's exclusive dual pole triple off radar shows a dusting of new snow in parts of the region late last night and first thing this morning to portions of Culpeper, Eastern Madison, in Orange and Louisa counties. Most of this is weakening and shifting more towards I-95 from Fredericksburg, D.C. and on down into Richmond. But all eyes have been on that east coast and northeast nor'easter now shifting its way along the New England coastline. We are on the back side of that system and that means some gusty winds will head our way forward today and also for tomorrow. But the weather pattern will dry out tomorrow and also on Thursday. So some sunshine will come on out. Now the next big thing I'm tracking from the weather center is is a brand new cold front due into town on Friday morning. That will give us rain showers, so no wintry weather with that system. A break on Saturday, but uh oh, watching a new storm system. Could we have another snow system for next Sunday? Well, our forecast models are hinting at that, but that's still five days away. Keep checking back as we fine tune that forecast, but I am confident that a piece of the polar vortex, yeah, we'll head our way for the first time this winter. That means daytime highs will probably stay below freezing next month. Monday. That would be the coldest day of the winter so far for Charlottesville. All right, for today, gusty winds, a few flurries around, highs of 35 to 40 degrees, the wind making it feel colder. Tonight, brisk and cold, lows of 25 to 30 degrees, so some icy spots are more likely as we refreeze overnight. Wednesday's forecast, more in the way of brisk sunshine, seasonably chilly with highs in the 40s. Michael and Sun, seven day forecast, teens and 20s tomorrow night as we refreeze, melting on Thursday in the 40s, 50 with rain on on Friday, mainly for the first half of the day, dry Saturday and watching Sunday and Monday, perhaps some more wintry weather, but it will definitely turn sharply colder.